Hello? Hi, this is Laura. You just messaged me about my baby goat. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to take her, but I called everywhere from, like, Michigan, New York, Kentucky, Virginia, every rescue. No one will take her. They said that the injury would be way too severe. She's dragging her back leg. All right. Um, so kind of like in the video that you sent? Yes. Okay. So I was hoping the video would do you in. <laughs> I just really need somebody who is equipped to help her. Laura has a goat dairy farm in Granville, Michigan, which is about two hours away. She's reaching out about a baby goat that can't use its hind legs. I, I think we could uh, possibly help out. Um, oh, thank you yeah. so much. I just want to get her help as soon as possible, so maybe she has a chance. I totally agree with you. I think getting her to a hospital as soon as possible is what matters. And so, um, yeah, I'm... I'll, I'll say yes right now, and uh, yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much for all of your help. Of course, of course, and thank you so much. Okay, all right. thank you. Take care. I kind of broke protocol. I usually have to run new rescues by the entire team and get their approval. I just honestly, this woman has tried so hard to get this goat a home, and I think that you know, we're her last option, and if it doesn't work out, she's gonna have to put this goat down. So this goat's coming. Hey, Kelly. Hey, how are you? You know, a little hectic. Yeah. <laughs> so a lady called me earlier today. She's got this baby goat. Yeah. That has some medical issues. Yeah. And really needs our help. So I agreed to take her goat. Just wanna make sure you're cool with it. Um. <laughs> You look mad. I, I, I know that look. Who's the last person who's aware? You are. Thank you. And so do we know what the problem is? It's a severed uh, tendon in the back left leg. OK. That's all I know. The woman called me, and she was just like, I feel like the longer I wait, then the worse it's going to get. So she's driving out here to drop her off, and then I'm just going to go straight up to the hospital. OK. Yeah. And then we're going to search for a different home for her? if that's what you want. There are always gonna be animals in need and we want to be able to help them all. But frankly, our team has been rescuing a lot of animals recently. They're stretched really thin. It's important that he run the rescues by myself who knows the needs of all the different moving parts in the organization so that we don't get in over our heads and not be able to care for all the animals the way that we should. Sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. She's the last person to find out about this goat and she doesn't like it at all but I made the commitment already to rescue this goat, and that's what we're gonna do. She's gonna fall in love with her, I think. Hopefully. Hey! I, I got her. Oh, oh baby. Oh, she's so tiny. Aw. It's been a couple days since I agreed to taking this baby goat, and Kelly is still annoyed that I did not get her approval. But Laura is here from Granville, so here we go. So once we get this baby goat nice and healthy, we're gonna find a new home for her. Is it a boy or girl? It is a girl. Aw. Oh. Yeah. That's so cute. The moment I saw this little goat, I fell in love. When she was born, she was stuck. I went out to check on the mom, and I saw just a leg hanging out. Right. So I had to reach in and grab the leg and pivot it and then pull her out. When I did that, unfortunately, the tendon snapped in one leg and stretched in the other. OK. So she's dragging one leg behind her completely. Um, she is actually getting around very well. Yeah. Every bet I talked to said to go ahead and put her down. But I felt like she was such yeah, a is. fighter. Yeah. yeah. She wants to make it. Laura is surrendering this goat to us because she can't give the care that this goat needs right now, has a severed tendon. Her leg is literally wobbling and can't support her at all. So she wants this goat to get the medical care that she needs. Hopefully, because she's so young, they can do something that hopefully her legs can be normal again. I'm very glad. Yeah. Well, thank you for oh, reaching out. No and... problem. Thank you Ooh. very much. And I'll keep you up to date. Okay. So my plan right now with this goat is to take her up to the hospital to get her leg looked at, but we'll get some radiographs done, hopefully, so that they can look at the tendon. Look at the face. 
Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Can we keep her? <laughs> Here, just hold her. Oh, she oh, likes there we go. Yeah, so that's that's that will get help. Kelly right there. What do you say? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> hey, let's name her Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Kelly. It would. It does. I'm no dummy. If I want to keep this goat, I'm going to name her Kelly Jr. Big Kelly, little Kelly. Aww. If you guys think that you can handle her. Oh, oh yeah. All right, you won. Yes! <laughs> we did it again. It was hard to say no to rescuing her after I saw her. Um, I think Dan knew that that would happen. She can stay at my house. <laughs> so she does have to get up to the hospital. Oh, okay. So put her in. Oh. <laughs> and I'm off. Home sweet home. After a couple days in the hospital, Kelly Jr. is ready to start rehab at home. The vet examined her tendon, put a splint on her leg, and said she'll be good as new in a couple weeks. Hey, I got some good news. Hi. Oh. Kelly Jr. is back. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Hey, baby, look at your new home. I prepared this little space for her. It looks good. Since Kelly Jr. needs to be bottle fed every couple hours, Kelly Sr. volunteered <laughs> to have her at her own home. Dude, I knew she would come around. This goat is freaking adorable. She's doing so much better. So what did they say? They said since she is so young that um, her tendon will heal back. It'll scar up, it'll be a little stiff, but then over time it'll stretch. But that it's really good that we got her into the hospital when we did. Oh, good. She's gonna heal just fine. What does this do for her? It prevents the tendon from like stretching. Literally, they're using popsicle sticks right now. So it's keeping it in place. It's keeping it together. Okay. Yeah, and we just need to splint it for two to four weeks, and then Kelly Jr.'s gotta stay at Kelly's house for however. Two to four weeks? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, she's gonna be just fine. I don't even think she's in any pain. Just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> oh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. This is gonna be the easiest rescue that stayed at my house. It's hard to remember now that I was very against taking on any more rescues, but Dan was able to act quickly, and that needed to happen, and so I'm glad about the way that this worked out. She's probably hungry. Why don't we try to feed her then? Oh, score. That was really good. What a champ. <laughs>